Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, it's pretty exciting for me because we are starting a new series on Minecraft. So before we get to the video, I kind of just want to put a quick message saying that my main focus at the moment is actually streaming live on Twitch. We're a lot further through the series than I anticipated when I first did the stream. Uh, we're actually pretty close to fighting the Ender Dragon at this point, which is... It's, it's crazy. Anyway, so if you want to, like, if you enjoy watching, the, like, this content, please consider checking out my Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7pm GMT, and it'll be awesome to see you there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free, and you can unsubscribe at any time at all. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button twice. <laughs> Wrong one. Wrong button. That's the button I wanted to do. We're going to be playing in Hardcore, but not only are we going to be playing in Hardcore mode, we're also turning off Natural Regen. That is a scary thing for me to do, because I already know... Ugh. I already know how bad this is going to be. Put it this way. If we take damage, we don't recover it. And because we're in Hardcore as well, that means if we die, we don't get a second life. We're basically doing a UHC survival world. I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea how good I am at the, like, how well this is gonna go. I doubt it's gonna go too well, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm excited to get, get into this. Like, I am really hoping that we get a good spawn. This is gonna be insanely difficult. Okay. That's all right for me. So, doesn't look like we got a Badlands anywhere nearby, but we have spawned in the middle of a field, which is... Quite handy to say the very least. I, I'm gonna immediately start grabbing some wood. Th this is like hardcore on steroids at this point because we take full damage. We don't get that health back unless we eat a golden apple or we have a regeneration potion or an instant health potion. This is going to be terrifying to do. I mean, the biggest problems I think will be probably the first night unless we can get a place sorted quickly. It's also quite nice though because I mean, it's, it's nice to start over again. We actually want to stay near these trees for a little bit just so we can get saplings because we are like one of the first things that we are going to make is a tree farm so we can get these bad boys. We are not going to be eating these whatsoever until we can like get a sustainable source of them and we get some gold because getting gold right now is probably the main priority and that's probably the thing that's going to be the most challenging because if we can't get gold and we can't get gold quickly. I can imagine this being a very, very short series. <laughs> so crafting table down, we might as well just start off by making a pack axe. And we'll make an axe too purely because I think, because it does slightly more damage, uh, that's gonna be a lot more beneficial just in the early stages. So uh, we might as well grab our crafting table as well. So. Who knows, honestly, how this is going to go. I mean, I've got to be really careful about where I jump, what I do, because, like, every action I'm going to make is literally... It could be the end. Let's just say that at the end of the day, we're going to do our best. If things go pear-shaped, if things don't really work out, that's fine. But I would love to be able to get to the end of Dragon in this if I can. If I can get to the end, I'll be happy. If I can beat the Ender Dragon, I'll be over the moon, since it'll technically be my first time beating the Ender Dragon. Uh, I do know the rough strats for the Ender Dragon, but it's going to be... It's going to be definitely a challenge regardless. So, I think the main thing we're going to have to focus on is just making sure that we get stuff as soon as we can, get set up as soon as we can, and just try not, not to die. Because if we die, it's game over. It, it, it's... Like, that's it. Capiche. Gone. It's over. Like, there's nothing we can do. Okay, there are a lot worse things to die to. That uh, is a baby zombie and immediately afraid. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, he's chasing me. Okay, let him burn to death. Let him burn to death. Just... Go away. We take damage from him. We get set on fire, which is not great. There's a ravine there as well, looks like. Oh no. I don't see him. Okay, I think he died. Oh. Already terrifying. So. Uh, let's make some stone tools now, because, I mean, we've got enough of them. I'm gonna make a sword. Like, the sooner we can get our everything set up, the better. Because at the end of the day, it's game over if we die. I, and I know I've said that a lot already. But it is the honest truth. Like, if we die, that's it. No round... Well, we'll have a round two. But we lose everything we've worked on. 
which is never fun to do, in a sense. So I, I'm going to wander around a little bit, see if I can find some things. There did seem to be something over here, which I just saw in the distance, but I'm not really sure what that was, if anything. I'm being very, very careful around drops, because... Uh, it, it, I, at some point, I'm going to forget that this is a UHC. That this is almost certain death for us. I'm just going to look around a little bit. This might be a nice spot for a base, actually, because there's not really too much around. It's quite isolated. And whilst we do have the issue of drowned and stuff, like, drowned are quite easy to deal with. Uh, unless there's a baby drowned, in which case we're screwed. And then also there's trident drowned, which... Now, now I'm thinking about it, it probably wouldn't be sensible. Hello, dolphin. Thank you for the... Um, the help there. I'm gonna make sure that I don't drown. If I dr <laughs> if I'd taken damage from drowning there, I would have been so, so annoyed at myself. I'm still very much hoping we can find something useful, maybe like a village. Mainly because if we could find a village and get some early tools and stuff, like some early, early iron, we would set the coal, coal, we need to get coal. That's the main thing we should get right now, because torches are gonna be vital. Um, but if we can get some iron, we can make a shield, which is gonna be super useful. I am very tempted to use the level that I've currently got gathered from the few cows that I have actually killed uh, to make um, leather armor because any piece of armor is going to be helpful even if leather is like the worst in the game basically does nothing at the moment. That is a drowned box. I am actually going to check that. And I know it's a little bit dangerous to be doing because if there's a trident drowned I might be screwed. But... I need to check everything if I can. I need to make sure that... That guy's a fishing rod. Um, looking at this... I don't think it'd be sensible to stay. I, I think it's more sensible right now to just focus on game materials. Just note that's there. And let, let's just focus right now on finding somewhere to stay the night. Since it was already turning night, which is... Oh, it's great. I had some really weird terrain generation that I have not seen in a long time. I mean, that is from, like, what, beta days? Anyway, we, we need to find somewhere to sort of, like, camp out for the night or at least something. Uh, finding some sheep is also going to be vital because of phantoms. Oh, this is terrifying. Uh, I'm in my literature just be a thing of this first night we just box ourselves in. Because I do not want to get to the point where I am basically just insta-killed. I think just for safety, we're just going to make a small little shack right now. One thing which I might do is I'll leave, like, these little things around. Like, these little houses. Because I don't want to... How do I put this? I don't want to spend, like, tons of my time just not having things done. So, like, a lot of, like, the cook... Well, a lot of... Well, I want to have... <sighs> If words can work for me, what I'm trying to say is I want to keep my memories around. So I'm going to leave these little things around like if I do make them, which hopefully I won't need to spend too much time making these small little boxes. Hopefully we'll be able to get out there soon. But I am terrified of the night now. Like... I heard footsteps right there and I was literally just like, okay... Panic mode engage. <laughs> oh, this is, this is legitimately terrifying. Like, it's so complicated to explain. But if you've never played in hardcore before, like, this is like, like, it, it's terrifying. Like, because knowing you can't heal as well, it's that weird combination of, like, knowing that if you die, everything goes. Like, you don't get to explore the world that you literally just made. And you can't heal if you take damage. That is a scary thought. And it is something which I do not like in the slightest. The real question right now I have myself is do I make leather armor? Having at least some armor might be useful. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a hat because frankly, we are the hat hobbit. We, well, I say we are. I am the hat hobbit and I have a hat now, even though I have one anyway. We now have another hat. <laughs> this is legitimately scary. I, I haven't felt this in Minecraft for years. Like, th this is giving me, like... This is reminding me so much of when I first started playing. It's so weird. It's nice, though. It it's nice to actually feel scared to do things. And, like, everything is going to feel worth it in the end. And then at the end of the day... I did not mean to open that door and I just had a mini heart attack. Ah! <laughs> but, 
Uh, oh, this is, this is legitimately terrifying. E even just staying inside this box is just terrifying. <laughs> okay, sun's coming up. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. You know, I just had a massive wave of nostalgia. Because, like, it, it, it literally feels like I'm playing again for the first time. Actually, we're gonna leave this crafting table here, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, let's leave it there as a memory. We survived the first night in UHC here on the 23rd November 2020. That feels good. That feels really good. Okay, no creepers. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh, that was my only other worry, in a sense. That there will be a creeper immediately as we went out there. But we survived the first night. That is a massive achievement, and I'm so glad that we have. Ah, oh, that is a massive pog in the chat, even if it's a small accomplishment. And hopefully, it's the first of many nights. I think what we'll do is we'll go and land for now. Like we can, we can always find chicken cane wherever it is, so we don't need to worry about it right now. That creeper is terrifying to look at, and that is full damage city. So. I have to make sure he doesn't see us, which I don't think he will, which is all right for us. But I'd like to get off this mountain if possible. As much as I love the mountains in Minecraft, and I love that they're finally getting an update, uh, I would like to be able to get to a point where I can just go and, well, dig down without having to dig through layers upon layers of stuff. So if we can get down this sort of mountain, I'll be happy. Uh, that actually looks like a really nice spot for a house, maybe. Oh, and there's an ice spikes bone right now. No, sorry, not, not, not an ice spikes. It's not an ice spikes bone. It's, um, oh, what are they called? I don't remember their name, but it's a really, really nice little place. I think this is a nice place. I, I think we're going to make our house here. Or, like, our first sort of, like, base. I actually don't know if we're going to make more than one. Uh, that is light. That looks like an underground ravine or something, maybe. Oh, it's an, it's an underwater lava ball. Wait, that's wood. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that is bad. Um, Three hearts down. That is terrifying. So we know that something's there. We know that something is down there. Oh, we've lost three hearts already. Okay. The thing we don't do right now is panic. We don't let the panic set in. We don't go, oh no, we've lost three hearts. We go, right, we still have seven hearts left. That's the important thing right now. We have seven hearts, we use them to how they use. Well, we use them to a full extent. I'm thinking we start caving. Just a bit. Not much. But just enough so we can at least get some sort of thing. But first, we're going to start making a little house. Like, just another starter box, I think. Be all right here. So, maybe a little bit bigger. Because we need to make sure that we don't really die. Which I know is the main sort of goal of this anyway. But, like, if we take full damage, like, even if it's a little bit, that stays with us until we get gold. Uh, I'm out of blocks. I'm just going to use coal for the roof just because... I'm out of blocks, but, um, little front-facing house for you. We'll, we'll just torch up the sort of, like, front area of this place as well. Just make sure that nothing really gets in, gets out. Nothing like that. Uh, I need to turn around the door. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start planting some trees as well. Uh, Hi, hello. Good evening. Oh, I no, 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 Creepers. I am not liking this. Is this really the best spot for a house? Maybe. Gotta be careful. Just gotta be careful. 
Don't take ah, any unnecessary risks like that. Four hearts gone already. Uh, is that a better cave? We need to get some iron. That's the main thing we need right now. We need iron. I can't believe we've already lost t like four hearts as well. Ah. ah. All right, we've got enough iron for a shield. I think that's probably our next best bet. Because if we can get a shield, it means we can't die as quickly. Or, like, we shouldn't die as quickly. Uh, let's grab this tree over here as well. Uh, there's pigs here, which I might use as a food source in that case. Let's grab this tree. Everything's okay. The sooner we get to gold, the better, basically. It might be a while till we get there anyway, so we've got to play safe for now. Extremely safe. That's the main thing I've got to remember right now. Do not take risks. Do not take full damage. You're fine. Everything's going to be okay. That's my mentality at the moment. All right. Let's go in the house. Let's not panic. Oh, deep breath. Everything is going to go right. Even though we've lost four hearts so far, everything is going to be going well. All right, let's immediately make ourselves a shield. That's the first thing we're going to do. And we're going to keep that in our hand pretty much for the rest of the year. Well, well, for the rest of everything, in a sense. Like, we do not take this out of our half hand, off hand until we get, like, full diamond. Just grab all this iron and hopefully make some armor. Because I would rather get iron armor, like, full iron armor before any kind of iron tools. Uh, maybe except for a pickaxe, because at the end of the day, I would very much like it if we saved up as much iron as possible. Just for the time being, but also if we find, found diamonds, it will be extremely handy to get said diamonds. So let's just kick up a little bit of that iron. Uh, we've got one iron at the moment, which we could use in something, but I don't think we will. Um, we do need a little bit more wood. I'm going to go quickly plant the saplings before night falls. I am actually going to make some shears, though, because actually, if I can sleep through the nights, that'll be very handy. And I did see a sheep up there, so I think if I quickly make some shears, be quick about this. Sheep, 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 come here. That was only one wall. Why? Eat food quickly. Eat food quickly. Oh, we actually did. Oh, thank you. We've got our free wool. Let's make up a bed. Even though we can't really set our spawn, because if we die, we die. We don't get to use spawn points much. We sleep. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling better. Let's make ourselves an iron chest plate. That's going to be pretty much our priority right now. And we should probably kind of focus on making sure that we get food. We get everything set up. So we can just not worry about that stuff. The only thing is, is since we only have wheat right now, which is still growing, that creeper is just sitting there on an island all on its own. own. Anyway, I, I keep getting distracted. Uh, we're actually going to make a purpose-built orchard at some point where like, it's really efficient and just make sure that like, there's no space wasted. I don't care if we die in this. Like, I do care, obviously, if we die, because like, it, it means I need to start over again. But at the same time, like... If I do die, I'm, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to go, oh, everything's come to an end. And I might as well just give up on everything. No, no, no I'm not going to do that. Or I hope not anyway. I mean, I might do later down the line for all I know. And it might just take, like, a few days off if I do. I'm feeling like if we did die in this stream, like, in this first stream, it's not going to be the end of the world. We can always start another world up in the same stream. And we could always just do something else. But if we die, that's it. That's it for this world. This world that we literally just started. And we're starting from the ground up. And that feeling is... It, it's kind of wonderful. At, and at the same time of being terrifying. It's like... This world is a clean slate, basically. We can do whatever we want with it. We can travel to the end. We can travel to the nether. I saw something move and it was just a torch. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> like, we can build these massive castles and we're going to do it. We are going to do it. We are going to win this game without healing. Or, like, we're, we're going to do it without auto-heal, if that makes sense. we gotta, we got to make sure that we do heal on our lonesome. And most first important of all, we've got to get stuff so we don't die. It looks like this cave has pretty much been explored. There's a good source of materials there, which is nice for us. The question is, is since we can now go mining a little bit, we could go mining or we could do a little bit of exploring. 
But I kind of also want to set up a base. Yeah, just a small base just around here. Um, it might require a lot of materials though. So uh, I say make a chest and do a little bit of exploring. So I did see a cave in the mountainside over this way, which I think is where we're going to go next. I am also hoping, actually, actually tell what, let's, let's go around the ocean, ocean side a little bit because part of me is hoping that I'll find a shipwreck, which if we can find a shipwreck, we can find a buried treasure map. Potentially with that buried treasure map we can find the buried treasure which could potentially get us some gold And that is the key word. That is the key thing that we would I need gold basically I'm gonna be an absolute dragon by saying this but gold is going to be mine all the gold in this world now belongs to me I Am the dragon hobbit and all your gold belongs to me, but also since we have no gold at the moment, we are a very scared dragon at the same time. Hey, I'm going to be very careful. Okay, there was absolutely nothing in this cave, and we got scared for nothing. And basically, but there's a lot of coal here, which is actually a little bit handy. Uh, is that another cave? Well, it might be, actually. Because if we go underground, then that's fine. Uh, there's a little... Ah! Okay, hello skeleton. Okay, first skeleton dealt with. That is incredible. That is a beautiful looking cave though. We're, we're, we're going mining tonight. That is what we're doing. We're going to go adventuring. So we're going to block off the entrance to the cave, make sure that we don't instantly die. And we're just going to keep going down. Uh, once we get enough iron to make ourselves an iron helmet and iron boots, we're going to stop and make those. But for now, we're going to focus on mining. I think that'll be really nice, because even though this is hardcore, and even though we can't heal, we do need to get gold as soon as we can. So, it's about priorities. We're going to be make sure to be very careful here. Okay, a little bit more iron. That's good. That's good. We've almost got full iron, and we've only been playing for, what, 50 minutes? May maybe less. <sighs> this is scary. <laughs> Everything does full damage. Everything is trying to kill us. There is no way for us to logically survive, but we are going to. We are going to. That is the main thing here. We are going to. We're going to beat all the odds. We're going to survive. We're not going to die. And we're going to do this. We're going into this with confidence. And full iron armor. <laughs> and six hearts as well, which, to be honest... It's a little bit more than I was expecting to have at this point. Like, we might be able to get full iron by... Hello, cave. We might be able to get full iron by the end... Like, full iron tools as well. <laughs> no! That is exactly what I didn't want to happen right there. I, I, I shouldn't... I, I, I should have played safe. I got over cocky, and now we only have four and a half hearts. That being said, we're still gonna live, but we shouldn't be rushing into things head on first like we are right now. Yeah, that's a ravine. We're gonna stay away from there. Ravines basically are the epitome of death in hardcore. I mean, anything can drop down from on top of you, and at the end of the day, they're just not nice places, in a sense. Uh, getting a water bucket might be actually quite useful, is my thought process right now, if we need to put ourselves out in a pinch. So, yeah, actually, now that I'm thinking about it it, 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 it's almost suicide not to carry a water bucket on us. Like, this, it's so weird, like, playing in hardcore and playing with no instant healing, it really makes you think about what you need and what you should carry on you. If we deal full damage to ourselves, we don't get it back. If we deal fire damage to ourselves, for example, if we accidentally drop in lava, that is almost insta-death unless we have a water bucket on us. That is going to make the nether hell, actually. Don't like the look of this cave. But we need gold, come on. Come on, I really want some gold. That's all I want. I'm not even sure if I'm low enough for gold or not. 34. We might be low enough for gold, actually. And if we are, that'll be... That'll be just beautiful. Like, the sooner we get gold, the better. We could just heal up, like, two hearts, and I'll be happy. Go down a little bit, and that's all fine. Okay, I think that's the cave pretty much explored. I did hear a zombie villager. I'm not sure where that was, though. And it's always morning, which is also nice. Uh, it means we can just go mine iron and stuff like that, and just come out whenever we want. What I'd love to be able to do is, as soon as we can, uh, we are going to go get a cat, and we're going to go get a dog, which we're going to keep the dog on us at all times, 
the cat can probably just we can have like cat army around the base. Oh, terrible. Boo. Ah, that's a witch! Oh no 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 we're 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 just getting out of that. Nope, nope. Haha, <laughs> no. We're not dealing with a witch. Witches do way too much damage. And uh we're not gonna deal with them. We're we're just gonna leave them alone. We're just gonna leave the cave. Nope. 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 I think we're going the wrong way. We are going the wrong way. But which can this to kill us now? And we'd have nothing to do about it. If we got a poison potion, we'd we'd be dead. Frankly, I mean, there, there would literally be nothing we could do about that. Okay, water. Fine, we can deal with water. Like, water's actually quite nice because it allows us to get out right where we are. Where are we? Oh, I see where we are. Ah, hello. Um, there are a few creepers up here. Which suggests that I didn't quite light up this area well enough. Um, let's just put a few more, more torches down just to. Just to make sure that we, you know, don't die within the first 10 seconds of leaving our house. Okay. We're doing alright. Right now we could be, be doing a lot worse. But we're doing alright. We're doing alright. That is the main thing.